It's back to basics for you today, Sub. Steve's managed to locate your secret base, and he's broken in. He's raiding all of your diamonds. Get out, Steve. If he knows where you're hiding, then surely the whole server knows. Or it's only a matter of time at least. You better get working on some secret entrances that are impossible to reach in Minecraft. Entrances can be created anywhere at any time, but you could be standing on one right now and not even know it. Don't worry, Sub, you're not. But you never know. Most entrances are invisible to the naked eye and often have some clever redstone trickery behind them. Redstone that takes quite a lot of time to figure out. So, what are you waiting for, Sub? Let's get to it. Number one, the coaster pull. Going for a ride? Minecarts and mine tracks can form great transport systems to your mind. Maybe you just want a nice little roller coaster going through your world. Either way, players will usually see these contraptions as a method of getting from point A to point B and won't think much more of them. I know this can be used to your advantage, however, Sub. As minecarts travel pretty quickly, it can be easy to miss various activators around the track. These can directly affect the track you're on. This will reveal a hidden deeper track that leads you to your actual base, rather than a shabby old mining station. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, Sub, are you tired of playing fluffy and cutesy games? Well, here comes Raid Shadow Legends. Get real, raw, dark, epic, and awesome. Raid Shadow Legends will take you to the world of dark fantasy and realism. Choose from several unique characters, upgrade them, sacrifice them, and battle with your friends against the clan bosses to win awesome rewards. Go through the campaign story, or heck, you can even fight with your own friends. You can even battle in the dungeons against bosses and win artifacts to make your champion stronger. And the best part, you can play it on mobile and on desktop. And you can switch between them whenever you want to. Now isn't that something, Sub? What's that? People can find you in the game too? and join your clan. <laughs> nice! So, what are you waiting for? Go check the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, see you there. Number two, target practice. Items dropping can trigger pressure plates. It can be quite obvious if you just walk up to it and drop an item yourself. You've been trying to find some more unorthodox methods of triggering redstone with item drops. What have you thought of? Ah, I see. So killing a mob will cause them to drop loot, which can then trigger a pressure plate. A good place to use this entrance will be a mob grinder that you have set up. Anyone would think that you're just supposed to shoot mobs randomly so their loot gets sucked up into the chest. But killing a mob on a certain block will cause the loot items to drop down and trigger a hidden pressure plate. You'll have to be a good eye and a sharp shooter to catch this one. Number three, no place like Bee Home. Bees are the latest addition and hottest mobs of the block. But did you know that beehives can only house three bees? That means if the hive is full, any other bees will just keep floating around until they find another home. This can actually be a good indicator of if there are any other hives nearby. Find a beehive and breed the bees until the hive is full. Once you have a fourth bee, it'll begin wandering. Follow it along until it reaches another randomly generated beehive. The next nearest beehive may be far away, and it may take some time until the bee reaches it. But when it does, you can be sure that it'll be in a completely unobvious location. This is where you can build your base. Whenever you need to find your way back, just breed a new bee and follow it all the way back home. Much like returning home, you can always return to Subs World for your helping of awesome Minecraft tips and tricks. Make sure to subscribe so you always get notified when a new video goes up. Number four, the scaffold trigger. What's this, Sub? Have we caught you mid-build? Or is this the scaffolding part of your next design? I guess to any other wondering player, this would just look like a half-finished house or an abandoned project. 
Steve's untrained eye won't realize that there is a lot more to see here. Scaffolding is pretty useless to most players, but little do they know, however, that you've hidden weighted pressure plates in the trench within the ground, and destroying the scaffolding will drop block entities right onto them, triggering a redstone pulse to open your true entrance. Number 5. Retexture Doors Time to get tricky. Remember, if you're in control of a server, you can prompt other players to download texture packs and specific resources when they join. Sub, why not change the texture files for doors so that they share the texture of wooden logs, planks, or another block in the game? Doing this, you can place doors all around your house, having them blend in with the same blocks you copy the texture from. Number 6. The Tumbling Panda Oh yes, those cute mobs do have a purpose other than just being cute after all. Create a panda pen and add a small section with a weighted pressure plate. To the naked eye, this'll just look like an enclosure. But place some bamboo near the pre- <laughs> But place some bamboo near the pressure plate and the panda will be sure to roll down into it eventually, triggering your piston door. Perfect. Number 7. Witch's Hut Lick This one is super simple, but I bet you never find it in a million years. Witch's Huts appear all across swamp biomes and are great for getting your hands on some potion ingredients. You probably go in and out of this place once and be done with it, right, sub? Well, instead, why not carve away one of the pillars or legs the hut stands on? Removing the leg, dig straight down and plop your base. This entrance is great because you can easily replace the leg as it comes and goes. And no one would ever think to check here. Number 8. Amongst the Rubble Minecraft battles can be hard and intense. With TNT cannons, huge lava pranks, and chaos triggering left and right, it can leave the land looking a little worse for wear. Look at this place, Sub. You and Steve have really been pranking each other a lot over the last few months. This part of the server looks completely destroyed. Players will probably steer clear of areas like this. Knowing this, choose a nice spot in monster debris and dig down, creating your own post-apocalyptic base right in the center of the wastelands. You gotta make the best out of a bad situation, right? Number 9. The Double Dirt Blocker Noobs build dirt houses. We all know this. And when searching for players to raid, pros remember this. They'll make sure to remove a layer of dirt if something looks suspicious, just in case they find a base. That's why if you have no other choice and you're a noob like Steve here, you can double up your dirt layers around your wall. Hopefully they'll break one block and walk away, not thinking any more of it. The only way to enter is to dig straight down two blocks. A rule pros would never break. Number 10. Bamboo Tripwire Trigger Ugh, what a mouthful. Bamboo grows taller and taller the longer you leave it. Hey, Sub, are you placing string above the bamboo to see if it'll trigger a redstone pulse when it grows? Well, I'm sad to say that the string will only block bamboo growth. You didn't know that, did you, Sub? That's okay. But if you wire that string to a door and then break the bottom of the bamboo stalk, the top bamboo entity will jump up and trigger the string for a moment. I bet you didn't know that, did you, Sub? Number 11. Sunken Ship's Compartment These structures can be found all across Minecraft waters, so find one yourself and clear it of any loot. And by clear it, I mean add it to your inventory. <clears throat> but you didn't hear that from me. This will ensure any travelers leave thinking everything has been taken while you carve a secret room, either inside or underneath the ship. Block off the water and you have your own private cavern. Aye, aye, Captain. Got any other bright ideas for secret entrances after watching this video? What other types of builds and designs should Sub try? Make sure to leave a comment and let us know.